Guess who's back? Back again. Trix is back. Tell your friends. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? And this is why my intros are so long because we need to get to the video. Anywho, I promise. Yes, I am back on my channel and I am more inspired than I ever was before because I've had pep talks from first of all from creators from family and friends and of course like my number one supporter so my boyfriend has been supporting me like 100% and this year I actually got to meet a lot more creators and they've given me so much more motivation and inspiration oh that rhymed but all of them truly I don't know like I was just feeling so ins uninspired and pretty much putting myself in my, digging my own hole pretty much and giving myself excuses why I didn't want to do YouTube or why I didn't want to post on Instagram, etc, etc. With that being said, I promise this time, I truly, truly freaking promise because I know I say this all the freaking time, I've said it every year in my YouTube career, career, that I was going to make more video content, that I was going to post more, I was going to do this and this and that. Um, I've been posting a lot more on Instagram. Those of you who follow me know that I wasn't like that before, but now I've been putting out more content. I've been more active as like working out to like pretty much make myself feel more confident in posting like OOTDs and fashion blogs, um, posting more of my makeup, all that stuff. Like I'm doing a lot more than I ever done on Instagram itself, but I need to put that mentality into YouTube. I need to take the time to sit down, do all this. It's really hard because my equipment is in another place and all oh, my filming, my call stuff is in this place and my backdrop is pretty much my closet so you know I I obviously don't have everything together but I'm gonna work with what I have and that's what I need to go into this with like that's the mentality that I need and have I should have if my voice is cracking throughout this video it's because Jen Beauty that's all I gotta say so I took a look I took a peek in the bag the night of but of course I was tired and it was kind of hard to actually look at it and you know like play around with things um, I still have a lot of things that I still need to play around with from the last um, Gen Beauty let's be real and that's another thing that I need to start doing is stop being that person who hoards it because of the packaging or because oh my gosh this is so new or this is so pretty I want to just keep it forever use it girl Tracy you bought a lot of things you guys watch my hauls I still have a lot of those things that I've hauled and I've hauled even more since the last haul you guys know that you have to know that like okay first thing pixie I love pixie I got to know oh, I know this is probably the worst setup too because it's pretty bright in here but I got to know the brand a lot more this year and I got to play around with a lot of things that um, Pixie sells and featured at their booth but the people behind Pixie of course Petra and then um, I didn't even know Pixie and uh, Pop Beauty were sister companies and I found that out this year this time around and I love that because you literally get the twins like well the, like you know the sister brands get it twins but like you have the edgy one you have the Tamara and then you have the Tia Pixie brand I okay I'm talking about the brand and not the actual product I think I, that's why my videos get so long because I get so excited about these brands that you actually got to meet at Gen Beauty and that's probably gonna be in another video so this is the pixie skin treats it's a sun serum with soybean and sodium hyaluronate 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 I cannot say that for the life of me because you guys know all the time in my videos especially when it comes to ingredients I'm a licensed esthetician and every ingredient that was in that book when I was studying I was like Phew. yeah no but I'm super excited about this because SPF is a must people it don't matter where you are at especially my Bay Area people yes it's foggy over here in the SF Peninsula 
But that's the worst time you can get sunburn. That's the worst time you can get sun damage. UVD, like UVD. That's gonna be my new thing. UVD because that's UV damage. Just saying. Put your sunscreen on and I highly suggest a 30 or higher for your SPF. And this is exactly 30. Oh, and it has a protective lip balm. <sighs> Traveling to Disneyland San Diego with that because I ain't trying to bring everything. That's super travel friendly. Oh, M Cosmetics. Oh my god. What color is you? You are in the color Vintage Rosewood. I already, I already can tell that I'm going to love this color. Y'all, it's that color right there. Ooh. M Cosmetics, y'all. Michelle Fon. Michelle Fon. Michelle Fon, man. You're just, you're just life. That's all I'm going to say. Just life. Siate London. Ooh, Wonder Wand. Intensely volumizing mascara. So those of you who are familiar with Siate, they used to carry nail polishes in, um, well, not used to, but my particular Sephora that I go to and that I work in does not have their nail polishes anymore, but they do have their lippy products and their dewy stick, which oh, is amazing. Adam, Adam, I met you at Jug Beauty. You are a freaking doll. I love you. You're so sweet. Oh, Tattoo Junkie. I have another Tattoo Junkie product somewhere over here. It's in a different packaging because I bought it at Walgreens a while ago. That was the first time that I've heard about this brand. Oops, dropping. It's actually a lip stain or a lip paint and it has the cute glitter on here. I okay. Ooh, Trestique. I think I'm saying that right. Trestique. Yeah. So this is a Magic Mattifying Balm plus Blotting Sheet Duo. Another travel friendly product. This is gonna like, I'm gonna survive with this in San Diego and LA. Y'all know me, I'm oily. Oily combination skin type and a blotting sheets. I'm bringing that to Disneyland. The heck? Ah! My finger got caught. Derma E. Oh my gosh, you guys. Licensed esthetician, you guys know I am skincare junkie. You guys know I spend money, like money on skincare. So Derma E Essentials Radiant Glow Face Oil, Jojoba Argan, and Sea Bucket Horn Bucket, <laughs> Sea Buckhorn Oil. Excuse my nails. So I was literally going to buy this the other day at Ulta, but of course I had to hold back because you know Ulta be having sales and you're like going crazy. Ooh, Physicians Formula Multi Finish Eyeshadow. Oh, literally. Like, there's mattes, there's some, like, glitter shimmers in there, there's, like, some satins up in there. Oh, so pretty. 12 Benefits Instant Healthy Hair Treatment. <laughs> Y'all already know. Okay, so I was dancing at the cocktail party because you, you guys know I, I, I dance a lot cocktail party or not um so I was dancing a lot at the cocktail party and of course there's other people dancing at the cocktail party like there's gonna be a handful of people who are like me and is just dancing the night away and doesn't even care who's watching maybe if your boss is then you got to be careful but 12 benefits actually was um so this brand is super cute it's called dirty little secrets I'll be very honest when I passed by the booth, I thought I saw DSL. And I thought the brand was called something else. And if you have a dirty mind like I do, you know exactly what I thought it meant. But that would have been um, a cute, vulgar brand. I think I should just make my own brand and call it that brand. <laughs> Anyways, just kidding. But they gave this cute little lip gloss and of course, Crater, I think Crater bags were different colors. I think there's going to be a lot of just color variation when it comes to different creator bags. But it's a pink lip gloss. Eva NYC, y'all. They saved me the end of Saturday. I will, again, do it in another video. But Naisha, Naisha, <laughs> girl, where you at? We need to talk because you I need to hug you again. But that is their dry shampoo. I'm in love with their Surf Up spray, their texturizing wave spray. <sighs> That's life changer for me. I'm not like exaggerating people. You guys 
need to know like who I really am. When wow. I love a brand, I love it. Ooh, Gumi. It literally says G O O M E E. So Gumi, Gumi. So if you guys are familiar with uh, like at Sephora the invisible like bobble um, hair thing, it pretty much looks like a keychain for your keys, but they're hair ties. It's so cute. Avoids hair breakage, prevents headaches prevents headaches yes this tamed or this hair needs to be tamed down because i get headaches when i tie my hair up it's so ugh, it hurts absolute new york was there as well i wanted to go to the booth and say hi because i love the products that i was giving last year they were so super sweet again um if you watch my video last year on like my hauls when it came to Absolute New York or just in other brands in general. Um, there was a lot of product that I wanted to buy, but they actually weren't selling it at the booth. But yeah, it's, it's fine. It's totally fine. So this one is a cotton candy liner in Jelly Bean. So I believe it's probably the blue, like the light, light, light blue color. Otherwise, it's a white. I'm not sure, but it's so pretty. There you go. Ofra Cosmetics was there as well and they gave a highlighter in Bali. I've never tried Ofra Cosmetics before and I'm super excited to try it out. I was happy that they were vendors this year, exhibitors this year because I wanted to stop by again and try their product out but it was hard to walk around especially when you're an exhibitor. Siate Lande, Lande, Siate Lande, oh my god I just said it again, Siate London gave a fierce flicks eyeliner i don't believe they actually have this out yet so this is a good thing to try out i have like benefit was there as well and of course it's san francisco you got to represent san francisco companies so benefit was out there and they were giving out the gimme brow in number three yo i need to tame down these brows make them waterproof benefit i can't say enough about it benefit's known for their brow products so if you haven't tried it then I don't know where you've been. Skin Fix was also there and they gave this eczema balm clinically proven to treat eczema dryness and dermatitis. I will be definitely using this on the back of my arms because I get keratosis pilaris. Note or Note was also a brand there. They have the matte moist lip gloss and this is in matte nude. Sorry my dogs are totally barking right now because they hear my parents coming home. <gasps> oh yeah, this is nice. It's a matte moist lip gloss. Jue was there as well. Of course, I wanted to stop by and say hi and thank them for being there last year. Um, but they did give Skinny Dip, li Lychee, Noisette, Freeze Bonbon, bon, and Pample Mousse in their lip creams. Their longwear lip creams. I already have three out of the five that they gave. Perlise was there as well, and they were giving away the Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask plus Exfoliant. You know, I love me some of my Asian skincare, y'all. Perlise. Last year, they were giving out the, like, face masks. Anyways, the Balm Cosmetics was there as well. Last year, they, I forget what, they, they gave, like, a um, smaller palette. But this year, they gave the Nude Tude Eyeshadow Palette. So, it's basically a nude eyeshadow palette. I have never tried this before, and every time I see it at Cosmo Pro, I want to buy it. But I have it now. So we're going to do some looks. We're definitely going to do some looks. Koki or Koki. It, I think it's Koki. Koki is another brand that was out there, and it's actually a US based brand. It's a nail polish, and, and I don't know if you guys can see my nails right now, and I don't, I kind of hope that you don't because they're not really nice and pretty. But this is in the color. What nail polish color is this in? Rose. Look how pretty this is. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of pink, but this is not a true, true pink. It's like a baby pink, but it's like a pink nude. CoverGirl was there as well, and they were giving out, and again, this is the creator bag, the Melting Pout. So it's a gel liquid lipstick. Gel liquid lipstick. A lot of brands are coming out with things that I'm like, okay, let's let's try. This is in the color Gelful. Yeah. Or Jelly Jubilant. What's this one? Oh, 
Physicians Formula, I think this was supposed to be with the palette, oops, it was also giving away the Glide On Gel Eyeliner. I've actually used, um, back in the day, when Physicians Formula pencils weren't, like, retractable, or I think they still have the ones that are non-retractable, I used to use those all the time in my waterline or like as an eyeliner on top because you know back then I was like I didn't know what I was doing so I was just always putting the crayon eyeliner on top and not winging it out you know before cat eye wings were a thing <sighs> that, that was those were the days pure cosmetics gave an on point lip liner in the color vamp this is such a tracy this is a tricks and tips color vampy lip colors of course I'm not wearing one right now but Rimmel London was there as well, and oh my gosh, Natalie, I had to say it in that exact accent because she had a beautiful, like, British, you know, English accent, and uh, she, like, I will show you in my next video what goodies I got, but they were giving up the, giving up, giving out the Shake It, not giving out, in the bag is a Shake It Fresh Mascara, so basically, you literally shake it, like, I think you have to open it to hear the shake, but it felt like I was mixing up a cocktail so that's cute it's always going to be fresh basically that's what the whole concept is is that mascara will never dry out on you Milani was there as well and they were giving out the color harmony blush palette this is in the color coral beams you know I love me some blush tones like some coral tones and you know those those like sunkissed J Lo tones, like that's that's me. Tarte was there as well, and need I say more? They were giving out. Oh, I wasn't even showing the front side, but they were giving out the Rainforest of the Sea Volume Two Eyeshadow Palette and their Tarte's Pro Glow. So pretty much this is their like contour and highlighting palette, and this is more of their like neutral eyeshadow palette. I don't need to open this because you guys have seen it in Sephora stores. If you're not familiar with Tarte, where are you at? Essence was also a brand that was uh, at uh, Gen Beauty, of course. And I always see Essence in um, Ulta. And I'm always like, ooh. <sighs> you guys, this is an amazing... Oh my god. This is an amazing package. I will show you the cute little... I can't wait to just put stuff in this clear bag. Anyways... There is a liquid eyeliner here. It's called Rockin' Doll Duo Stylus Eyeliner Pen. Oh, how cute is this? This is a Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Ooh, yes. I need some false lashes. Essence Color Correcting Mattifying Powder. Color correcting and it's mattifying. Essence, you got me beeped up. Ooh, matte... Um, lipstick in the color Vibrant Shock and yeah, mm. and the Satin Touch Blush in the color Satin Love. Ooh, such a nice mauve tone. And the Light Up Your Face Luminizing Palette. Y'all, all these highlighters come to me. Royal and Langnickel was, Langnickel was there as well and they had the Moda brushes, the Complexion Perfection brushes. I actually used the full size of their powder um, brush already. Freaking love it. And now this is the travel. It looks like it's a travel size. If it's not, then I think this is a travel size. Yeah, it's, just, it's a little bit bigger. As you can see, mine is dirty because I put it to use, people. I love these brushes. Also, my Luxie brushes. Whew. Anyways, um, so they have like a concealer brush or I can totally use that as like to put right here, a lip brush, up to you. And then they have a complexion, like a flat top foundation brush. Yeah, travel. Ooh, Impressions was there as well. This is a compact mirror and I believe it's a, like a light up one. It says slay. Oh no, they gave away um, a light up one. But, oh, the freaking says, Oh, the freaking says the front says just slay. Like I wanna always bust this out everywhere I go. Um, I was so sad to not have been able to go to their booth because I have been dying for their damn mirrors. Yes, I I want them. I want their mirrors. Like you guys, if you have not seen impression mirrors before, you need to search it up. Pause me on YouTube right now. Go on your phone. 
you you'll want it too if you just do your own makeup or if you do blogging or if you do like beauty blogging you so it's the no professionals eyeshadow in the number 104 so it's more of their like neutral tones as you can see there so definitely wearable colors definitely if you're just like starting out with makeup this is definitely not even start just starting off like you can be a professional makeup artist and just do bridal work with this palette OMG was a brand that was there as well. I wanted to stop by their booth as well, but they like closed down by the time I was able to walk around. So sad, you guys. Again, know that I am into skincare. That is like my first priority. Oop, my voice cracked. My girl Natasha, makeup and SFC over here on that social media. Holler at your girl. Go check her channel out. She does amazing reviews on a lot of skincare too. Um, so, and she, we, we skincare sisters, we love skincare, but she actually has this cute little headband that's featured in this picture here. Every time I see her wear it, I'm like, girl, it's pink. They have other colors, but I want that. Like, I want to be extra. I want to be cute like that, too. OMG. I want to be extra like this. Nude Sticks was there as well. Oh my gosh, Taylor, and then I forgot her other name. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, Taylor, you're so sweet for like coming up to me and like talking about the brand and um, introducing what the brand's about. Browns, <laughs> the brand is about, and it looks like they actually are like the colors. Oh my God, there's a full size mirror. Hi. Um, it looks like this is the nude artist box, so it's pretty much all the different like video bloggers or video <clears throat> the bloggers and influencers these are like their favorite colors in here I want to like show you but then the mirror is gonna glare so I'll just show you very quickly there you go so there's six shades in here and then oh they have like this little lip treatment in here too oh this brand was super sweet too Suey I believe that is actually the brand so I'm actually not butchering a lot of these brands now because you know last year I was I'll fail but anyways this is Sue and it's pretty much again a Asian skincare brand I love my Asian skincare brands and this is the purifying black charcoal mask y'all know me and my masking must I must I say more Lexi gave this cute makeup bag so you guys know I'm not a fan of pink but I don't think this is a pink pink this is like a it's hard to say like a rose gold pink I guess you could say but it it's not the pink that I don't like. I don't know if that makes sense. It's like a peachy pink. Yeah, there we go. And then they have like the brass color right over here, like that rose gold branded print there. Love that. You guys know I love my Luxie brushes. I did a video um, using them like a couple months back. I love, I love, love, love Luxie brushes. And they are a Bay Area based company as well. I'm going to support and rep my local brands. Ooh. Ooh, Pop Beauty gave the Copper Popper, or the Pop Portfolio Copper Popper. It actually has 36 eye shadows in here. Y'all. Um, so, I'll talk more into depth about it later, but I was able to get... I had an opportunity to work with Pop on Saturday for Gen Beauty. <sighs> By far the most amazing experience that I've had. Um, Carla, that's my soulmate, I swear. If I had not met her last year, I would have not been here today where I am at, especially working with the brand and learning that uh, Pixie was their sister brand and meeting Colleen, Rochelle, Mindy, like, I mean, like, all of you guys, you guys seriously have made my weekend the best weekend. I cannot stress that enough. Like, I love working with you guys and I cannot wait to work with you guys in the future. You guys are amazing, and I just totally put my lipstick on this because I was going to try and kiss it, but oops. It's okay. Here it's okay. is NYX. I was able to work with NYX again this year. Last year, you guys know, I had the amazing opportunity to work with them last year. Um, so they reached out this year as well, and so on Sunday, I worked with NYX. And they were giving out this um, Ultimate Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette. The one that I got was in Electric. And I definitely wore this color right over here on my lids on Sunday. I was getting so many compliments, you guys. I freaking love, like, avant-garde colors. They're just colors that are out of the box or, you know, things that people would never, like, usually go towards. I'm that person that will just try it. And then if, usually when I try it, it ends up being complimented by other people. And I'm all like, really? Okay, I'll wear more. Thanks. Right, 
and they were also giving the faux whites eyeliners to inner eye brightener and this is in the color linen it's one of those baby pink colors so not white or like you know people like put the white eyeliner to make your eyes look bigger I personally don't like using a pure white eyeliner so I love the fact that they had something that's just a little bit more on like on a skin tone or something that is a little bit more toned down oh, thank you guys thank you all right and I've been like literally holding this bag for too long because I totally smushed my Mac bag because I was like putting my hands on it as you can see oh, I hope I didn't ruin what's in it Oh, it's a makeup bag. I love makeup bags. You guys know I hoard makeup bags too. I hoard everything. I hoard clothes. I hoard shoes. I hoard. I'm not even gonna go too far. Ooh, there's a pencil sharpener because I was gonna buy one because mine is uh, it's kind of crappy. I've had it for like ten years. Um, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. They gave you, like, pretty much a full lips, like, kit in here. So you got your Prep and Prime, Prep and Prime Lip Balm or Lip Base. Sorry, my dogs are totally in the background. I'm going to shoot through this video because I need to because this video is probably going to be 40 minutes long. Um, but they got, there's the Lip Base. And then I personally already use this. I use this already and I'm literally to the point where I'm scraping mine out. Thank God for this. This is in the color subculture for their lip pencils. You guys know. I need me more lip pencils. Not really, but you know. And this is the Lip Tensity Lipstick. This is the first time that I'm ever going to try the Lip Tensity Lipsticks from MAC. And it's in the color Doe. So it's super, like, that neutral color. So pretty much, lovelies, that is it for the Creator bag itself. I am definitely going to have to, like, cut... A lot of this short so if there's times where I'm literally just like it's like one scene like scene to the next scene the next cut to the next cut like next frame to the next frame that's probably because I had to cut like all of the rants that I was talking about not even rants but like all the hype that I was giving the brands because you know I get really excited and I truly believe in a lot of these brands here so without further ado goodbye I will see you in my next video which is probably gonna be yeah, pretty soon because I'm literally uh, right after this I'm filming another video I'm gonna film the actual gen beauty days so Saturday and Sunday or not the actual like vlogging contents but you know goodies it's goodies that I got yeah okay bye this video is so long thanks oh my god my dogs